Okay, today we're going to look at uh, how we can fill in missing traces in OpenDetect. Uh, missing traces, of course, can give all kinds of problems, create artifacts when you create, for instance, an attribute, uh, compute thinfold likelihood, or whatever you like to do. So sometimes it's better to just fill up these uh, missing traces. All the green lines here in this data set covering the uh, city of Rotterdam are dead traces. So we're going to fill these up with a simple algorithm. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to create uh, a data set that in which all the uh, dead traces are made live again. In OpenDetect we have a utility under the Manage Seismic uh, utility, which is called uh, Copy. And under Copy we can uh, add no traces. So if we do this and we give it a name, in this case, we will give it a retro Rotterdam shallow null. Then we will make a copy in which all the live traces have become, uh, dead traces have become live. So let's have a look. And uh, this is the data set with the dead traces. And this is the traces in which these dead traces have been filled up and with values zero everywhere. So now we have live traces and we go to the attribute engine to fill these traces with some meaningful values. We're doing that uh, in three steps. First, we uh, compute an, uh, an average. We're doing that with the volume statistics attribute. And we're saying if uh, the data is, uh, the average is calculated uh, within a radius of four traces on all sides, and uh, it's just averaged over the, uh, the time slice itself. So time by time, the data is averaged in this case. Next, we're using a mathematics uh, attribute. And we're saying if the data equals a hard zero, then we have one of these uh, dead traces. Then we're replacing the value by the average. And otherwise, we're just outputting the data as it is. Now, because we're averaging over zeros, uh, we have to do some scaling. And we use just an RMS scaling over the entire trace length in this case. Now, let's have a look on what that looks like. This is the, uh, the data with the dead traces filled with zeros. And this is after filling them up with stacked averages. So, comparing it. We have filled up our traces like this. And that is it for now. Thank you.